hey you guys it's me i did a video yesterday on the divine masculine and if you watch that video i'll tag it down below you can go take a look at it because at timestamp 919 there was a really loud bang during the reading in the moment that i was saying that darker energies were going to be directed towards the divine feminine and then boom there was a really loud dark uh bang at the door <laughs> i uh didn't think it was a bird but i'm going to tell you about the story of birds in a minute and we ended up finding a bird last night that it did hit these windows i'm going to show you just around my parents place it's all um it's like a viceroy home so there's lots of glass so just give me a moment so this is the sun room and so if you look up um, actually before we look up it's reflective glass and so birds can't see it but I'm gonna tell you more about the story of the birds however there's the bird <laughs> poor guy but we're gonna talk about transition death and new cycles so give me a moment we're gonna I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you where he hit the window I'm gonna show you some more windows here and um, if you look out here, this window was where the bird apparently hit. My mom found it last night and threw it down on top of the sunroof, but I'll take you outside. Hold on. So you can see here when the birds fly, they think they're flying right into the sky. So um, unfortunately, my mom feels really bad because uh, these windows completely, uh, the sunroom is just over there around the corner I'll show you um, totally you know reflects everything and so in that moment though everything is synchronistic everything is perfectly aligned uh, the bird hit the glass above here on the second floor okay and fell onto the porch and my mom threw it <laughs> I don't know we're hoping that a hawk will pick it up but i kind of want to bury it but i'm going to talk to you about the significance of birds and um the death of birds and how they've been significant in my life i'm going to hang a hammock and we're going to have a little chat doesn't that look lovely <laughs> let's get in i'm going to tell you a little story okay so let's talk about the significance of birds in my life when i was about eight years old the first bird showed up to me when i was walking home from the park and i found this little bird and fallen out of the tree it was a baby bird and so i picked it up and i took it home and i buried it in the backyard um, and ever since then birds have shown up when i've ended a huge cycle so i'm really glad that it wasn't a demon because there is some really dark energies that were attached to this land and so i've been working with the ancestors of this land to bring them back and to heal whatever was uh, siphoning their energy here for this land and so because of that when the knock happened in the video um, I assume that's what it was especially when I was saying in the video that it was the end of massive karmic cycles and uh, dark energy being released and it's trying to come back to the divine feminine because that's what happens that when you haven't completed your healing divine feminines and divine masculines because you're one soul it goes back and forth between the twins um, unfortunately um, because you're not separate <laughs> and so when one heals the other heals but when one is still perpetuating a cycle the other one is also marrying a cycle exactly the 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 marrying is exact so i've now had six birds and six is uh the energy of manifestation six is also the manifestation of the double-sided coin of the devil of dark energy but also of the lovers okay of uh, love and relationships and god's manifestations so um depending on if you work on dark magic or light magic right um there's a big difference because uh you don't bind in light magic you allow <laughs> you manifest with the higher realms you don't work with 3d energies to bind things that's dark so um in regards to the birds the other birds were massive relationships in my life that had ended every time i contemplated staying with somebody um because i feel bad because i'm amazing in relationships and <laughs> i'm always ending relationships it really sucks um always it it's because i haven't been able to get to a certain depth with people you know they don't get me because i'm so sensitive and i'm weird and um i have a very different viewpoint 
of our world than most people. So it's been really difficult um, being able to connect in that way until uh, obviously until I met my twin. So I had these birds show up all my life. And so when this ended, again, this was the sixth bird that uh, told me that this karmic cycle is ending. And it was during a collective reading for you guys. So I highly suggest going and watching that uh, video. I'm going to put it down below, but I also wanted to do this video to ask you guys to just start noticing the symbols and the signs in your life. Like I know the birds are singing. I know I get really big significant things. Like every time I end a huge cycle in my life, um, a bird dies <laughs> and it's always a relationship. This time, it's about the twin flame journey and the karmic relationship so there's definitely something happening in the collective you guys that these masculine are finally rising and that's also because both of you are doing your healing work which is beautiful because that means that you're finding the purity of your soul again and the innocence of your inner child and where you actually came from um where your soul originated from i know for me ayahuasca showed me that far far away <laughs> another galaxy um not many make it here from where I, I am um but it doesn't again it doesn't everybody's from a different place everyone's special in their own way that doesn't make me any better than anybody else um people say that they want my gifts and stuff like that but i'm like really do you do you do you know how lonely it is this journey to have gifts the way that i have them not so this is why I help highly sensitive people and I really want an intuitive people and and how to work properly in energy okay so I just wanted to share this because I wanted you guys to realize that there are lots of signs everything is perfectly aligned every single time everything is perfectly aligned in your life all the time um, I was shown on ayahuasca that just this, you know, the, the mathematics and the science and to be able to put everything down to a perfect equation brilliant it's because uh, there's alignment there it's perfect alignment with sacred geometry mathematics science nature it's all connected it's absolutely amazing of how everything connects and um, I know some people think uh, I've been told you know not every number sequence is the same thing you're psychotic you're crazy not everything means everything it does it does don't let people tell you that you're crazy if you're noticing signs, start paying attention to those signs, you guys. Start paying attention to the little minute things that you may have, you know, thought didn't matter. But if it catches your attention, it matters. If, if your head and your eyes are drawn to something, it matters. If you have a deep knowing inside, it's true. It really is. All of us sensitive beings have to really stop doubting ourselves because when we doubt ourselves, we don't allow spirit to show us the way. And we have to find like these little clues in our, in our everyday life to know that things are happening. And the more that you allow it, the bigger the signs you'll get. And I'm really blessed. I feel really bad like for the birds because I'm like, oh my God, my parents are like, we need to stop having relationships. Like you're killing all the birds. <laughs> like oh my god I felt so bad for this bird I'm hoping I'm praying that a hawk will come and take it or I'm gonna have to bury it and I I think I was supposed to bury it I'll probably do that tomorrow and I think I need to because the very first one showed up when I was eight years old and I buried it and I think this is a huge cycle and I need to do that so um yeah so go watch the reading it wasn't a demon thank god <laughs> I was like, really? Are we dealing with this dark shit again? No. It's just huge cycles ending. But still, keep your your light and your vibrations up. Keep your energy pure. Don't engage with people and things that don't suit you. Be strong in your truth. Make sure that you're stating things that are good for you. And setting healthy boundaries. And being honest with your knowing. It's really important. Alright guys, so much love. Bye.